Oh my gosh, you're so annoying. Hi everyone! My sister's back from Europe! <laughs> this is my sister Laura and she just spent the last six weeks in Europe and she came back and brought me a hella goodie bag which I'm going to be showing you guys in the next week as well. And today we're going to hear all about her trip to Europe. You guys are going to see a few blog posts as well about her favourite places. And let's get started! Yay! <laughs> I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, tell me. Um, how long was your trip really and how many countries did you go to? So we spent 39 days in Europe and we did 9 countries in those 39 days with 14 different stops within those. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty tiring, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you visited 9 countries. What was your favourite country? I would definitely say Greece was my favourite country, which was surprising because at the start we definitely thought it was Switzerland. But yeah, Greece and then Switzerland number one and number two for sure. And we don't want to like slag anyone, but which was your least favourite country? Definitely France. Definitely hated Paris. <laughs> Not my thing. That is a strong statement. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with you on that, but I'm sure they would. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, and what was the most amazing thing you did over there? I would say the most amazing thing was going quad biking in Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, we went to a farm and we got to make cheese and have all the homemade meats and jams. And this was a farm that has no power, no hot running water. Everything is, you know, made on the farm. They don't actually buy milk or bread or cheese they only buy the base ingredients to make everything so that was an experience mm. um all right and what was <laughs> 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 and what was your most memorable moment <laughs> country with the best food i would say greece country with the worst food Hmm. I didn't actually like the Italian food. It's not as amazing as you think it's going to be. It's very yeah. touristy, not as fresh as you think it was going to be, but we were in the touristy places as opposed to the where you, like, the locals would eat, so you can probably expect that. Okay. Country with the nicest people? Country with the nicest people, I would definitely say Greece and Switzerland. They were very friendly, just really accommodating. Everyone was there to help you on the street and they were willing to speak English even if you didn't know any of their language without any issues. So that was really nice. And the least nice people? Uh, I would say the Italians and the French. Um, were probably the least helpful but I think they just get a lot of tourists and uh yeah they just they're not really helpful on the street if you need to ask a question or where you are things like that so you probably didn't look fashionable enough i would probably think that too hmm. um okay your favorite hotel favorite hotel was in mykonos we stayed at one of the small luxury hotels of the world which was on ornos beach in mykonos and it was just absolutely amazing. Staff were amazing. Rooms were amazing. Best place for an Instagram photo? Best place for Instagram photos is definitely Greece because the water's beautiful, the views are beautiful. They do really nice food for photos as well, so well presented. <laughs> <laughs> but for the food, the rooms and the hotel itself was amazing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I put one of the pictures up of Laura's hotel in Santorini which was amazing with a private pool of course <laughs> with a private pool <laughs> at sunset <laughs> what was the most surprising thing about Europe that you did not know so I kind of had heard stories but you pretty much have to pay for toilets everywhere which we take as a luxury in Australia so too bad if you don't have any change on you at the time and you can't just sneak in because some of them have um, a turnstile that you have to put your coin in and then, you know, walk through. Or they have an attendant who is like an eagle and will not let you through. 
Uh, also, you can't flush your toilet paper, so that's a bit awkward, especially for us ladies when we are, you know, going to the bathroom and then you have to like push the little pedals bin open to put your paper there. Uh, that was definitely not pleasant because everything goes in those bins. There's no, you know, ladies bins like we have. It was really gross. That's so gross. Yeah, because they're open sometimes, you know, oh. once you open it, it's everything in there. You're making just... me, like, vomit. You're just thinking about it. <laughs> it's pretty gross when you've got your dirty paper in your lap. Oh, <laughs> yuck. <laughs> also, I guess some of the food you... I think in Australia we have a lot of choice with things and we can add and change things as we need it. Whereas we had Italian in Greece and we asked to have chicken in our pasta. And the chef was really insulted and wouldn't put chicken in our pasta uh, because we were altering his recipe. He would give us chicken on the side and we could add that should we want to to our pasta. A bit weird, but... And yeah, you definitely want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what was the best thing you bought besides all the goodie bag you gave me? I think my favourite thing was just buying clothing because it was just really cheap at the end of their summer season. So you could get, you know, new shorts for five euro and bikinis for five euro and all that kind of stuff so lots of bits and pieces to bring back uh and a lot more variety of clothing as well mm. although it's still pretty americanized yeah with the euro style like the shops are all pretty much american stores yeah well I mean, we don't have much choice over here yeah so unfashionable mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay what was the most expensive thing you bought most expensive thing was probably makeup, going to Sephora uh, or even tax and duty free, just buying uh, my Urban Decay palettes, um, things like that. Clothing was pretty cheap because I was at end of season. So, oh, however, on a boat ride to, on the ferry ride through the Greek islands, I was really cold and needed a blanket, so I thought I'd go and buy a towel. I went, about, went to the shop on the ferry and picked up a towel, a beach wrap, and a bracelet, 150 euro, <laughs> euro, <laughs> so that's almost $300 for a towel, a beach wrap, and a bracelet. <laughs> was it at least like a nice looking bracelet, or like, is it like a... <laughs> we can include pictures <laughs> of those items in the link below. <laughs> Do you think they're worth 150 euros? Let's just say I told my husband it was 30 euro or up. <laughs> <laughs> What was your least favourite experience? I think I got really bored of just going and doing the general touristy things. Um, for example, like when we went to Pisa. I know it's one of those things you do, but you spend like an hour and a half on the bus there. You walk around for a bit, and then you get back on the bus. And it's not particularly exciting. I prefer the more of adrenaline type things. Whereas if you get a guided walking tour, you can get some really alternative ones. I recommend Alternative Athens. They did like a four hour walk and you get to go through all the back streets and find out where the locals go and hear kind of a lot more stories about the country and it's just more one on one. We had only a group of five people in the guide, so much more interesting to us. Uh, and in Santorini, we did like hired our own quad bikes when exploring on the island, those kind of things. It's a lot more fun than doing a tour because for me, one church is enough. They're all pretty much the same. A lot of them are uh, built in the same periods, uh, same kind of architecture styling of that era. And it was 35 degrees and ladies have to cover up shoulders and below the knees. So that was really fun as well. <laughs> okay, so what would you... S <laughs> I don't know where that went. I don't know where that was going now. Ew, I'm going to find it on my floor later. There was hair on it, I saw it. <laughs> That's what I was pulling off. <laughs> Okay, so what would you say about your Europe trip overall? I would say we had an amazing experience and there's countries I would 100% go back to and there's places that I thought I've done a little bit and I'm not really interested in exploring more. Um, we, there was places I would definitely want to stay longer uh, and I'm very happy that we kind of booked our own trip as well. I was looking at doing a Kentucky but I don't really like buses so we did trains, planes, ferries, kind of travel around and yeah it was it was just a really good experience awesome mm -hmm. i've been on a kentucky bus not on a kentucky <laughs> just the bus and it's not nice <laughs> you can't open your own windows 
Yeah. I think I would get pretty claustrophobic. Yuck. Well, thank you. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible laugh. <laughs> Discount that laugh. <laughs> Just Just cut that mine. off there. Mine. <laughs> mm. So in the next few weeks, we're going to be having a few blog posts from Laura. So we're going to have some of her favorite hotels and destinations, some photos and some recommendations of what to do there. And we're going to have um, a few more posts like the things you didn't know about Europe, things you wouldn't have thought of about Europe. Um, and also the goodie bag that she gave me. So she was so generous. She came back with a whole bag full of treats for me. Because I have the best sister. Mind you, I had to post some of my own stuff home. <laughs> Stop! Okay, bye now. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Terrible tone. <laughs> that was a bad tone. Bad tone. Thanks for tuning in to our latest video on Laura's Euro trip. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Pinterest. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and you can follow Laura on Instagram as well, and I'll put the links down below so you guys can check it out, and don't forget to check out my blog for the latest happenings of Laura's Euro trip. We both just went... We both just went. <laughs> Do you love me? Do you? No. Do you love me? Oh my god. This is what I do, Hunter. Do you love me? Do you? <laughs> Cool.